Welcome back to the channel. Have a little bit of an allergy attack, so I apologize if I don't sound 100%. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite theme developers, uh, especially now as he started to develop more block-based themes, Anders Norn. I've covered him before on the channel uh, and on the WP Minute and on the Matt Report when I used to do that as well. He built a theme, a very simple blogging theme, but still he built it in 48 hours over this past weekend and he built it in public live on Twitter as he went through all of the steps uh, to build this stuff out. And number one, it was really cool to see him do this in a public setting, get all the thinking behind designing a theme, uh, all the different things and, and nuances that went into the theme, including breaks when he went to uh, walk his dog all the way down to the finished product. His website, andersnorin.se, is a collection of all the themes he has put out. I'm actually running the Excel theme on the craftedbymat.com website where I have, I use this site as like a, as a resume <clears throat> uh, type site. And he just has an amazing collection of, you know, classic themes from when he started many years ago to now of the more modern block-based theme. He built this theme Pulitzer, uh, again, live on Twitter and shared it with us to download for free. So if we scroll to the bottom of the tweet thread, we can click right on a GitHub account, which will bring you to where you can download this uh, theme if you're watching this within the first few days uh, that he that he published this. Hopefully in the future, you'll see it. It'll be in the WordPress repo. So all you have to do is search for Pulitzer to install and activate it. <clears throat> Again, a very straightforward uh, blogging theme, super minimalistic, super, I don't know what, what the right word is, condensed or very, I guess, very minimalistic, but just very blog and writing focused. Not a ton of options here, but you don't want it because what you really want to do with a theme like this is write, publish, and then he has uh, pretty much a call to action for your newsletter. And one of the interesting things that he has, we'll pull up the uh, the demo site, this newsletter section here, and he talks about it in the tweet thread. This is f by default going to work with the Jetpack subscribe block. So if you're using Jetpack and you have that subscribe feature on, uh, this block will work right out of the box. And you'll be able to just get your newsletter signups through Jetpack. If you're not using Jetpack and you're using something else, it'll be up to you to place that subscribe block in there, whatever it is that you're using. I'll show you an example of how you can do that uh, with ConvertKit, which is just another uh, platform that I've used before. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is add a new site in my WordPress uh, Studio app. Call it Anders, add this site. And if you haven't seen my video on the new Studio app, this is a great way to create WordPress sites hosted right inside, uh, right on your laptop, in my case, my MacBook. Uh, and I can run install WordPress sites and play with them and delete them, remove them as I see fit, uh, just as a, a temporary hosting environment. So I have my site running. It's running 2014. We'll just take a look at that. You can see here, standard 2014. We'll go to appearance, add new theme, upload theme. I've already downloaded Pulitzer and upload install now. <laughs> It'll upload it and I'll activate it. <clears throat> Just a word of caution. Again, if you're downloading it directly from the GitHub account, if you're watching this within the first few days of the release, it's not going to get, you're not going to get updates with this theme through that GitHub connection. You're either going to have to check back and update manually or just wait for this to get in the repo so that you'll get the, the benefit of uh, of the auto updates. Okay, so now that is installed and activated and you can see we have a much more simplistic layout now for our blog. Everything is here for writing, publishing, and growing your newsletter. Let's go to the dashboard. We'll go to the editor so we can explore the templates he has by default. Remember, this is just, he built this in a weekend and this is just days from publishing. So here are all the templates he has. Single post, of course, search results, page, page 404, index. That's the core amount of templates you need to have an operating uh, WordPress website. And then if we go into the patterns, we can see that he has seven for the Pulitzer theme, which is which is this, uh, the archive list, again, for showing blog posts, uh, contact list, if you are building a contact page, a resume list, 
the archive, uh, a contact page, the newsletter page, and then a resume uh, page, which I guess is slightly different from this. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Um, and then he has, or I guess these are the page layouts. So you can have full page layouts. Let's go into what you might want to do next, which is setting up that uh, newsletter page. I'll just call it newsletter. And then we'll add the pattern that he has, which is the newsletter. So we'll click that and add that from the Pulitzer page layout section. What I really like, this is <clears throat> very inside baseball and something that is, uh, it's very nuanced, but just an attention to detail. He has a group block for you to immediately select and put your newsletter block into. Now, this is either a happy mistake where because Jetpack wasn't there, uh, it's loading this group block and it just because he was putting Jetpack into the group block for styling. Uh, otherwise, very, very nice touch to detail. You just click that. It's very simple, but a lot of people forget to put stuff in a group which can help with styling uh, the types of fields. From here, you can grab, let's say, your convert kit, uh, iframe embed, or you can use a convert kit uh, plugin to put your newsletter uh, block in here or any service, right? So if you're using MailChimp or any other uh, email newsletter subscription service, generally you're going to have at least like an iframe that you could put in here um, and, or you can install a companion plugin if they make it. Let me go grab my ConvertKit uh, iframe and we'll drop it right okay. in here. So I've dropped in my iframe uh, code. Obviously, the best bet is to use a native plugin. You're going to get a lot more features. Whoops, I didn't mean to do whatever I just did there. I have it in a custom HTML block. I just plopped it in. You can preview it. And now when we look at that newsletter page, uh, looks fine, right? It has the ConvertKit branding in there, but it's just a free account that I, I have for testing. Um, he does have some placeholder text in there, which says, note the newsletter form will only show up if the Jetpack plugin is installed. Obviously, you want to delete that. You probably want to overwrite a lot of the content here. But you can see that it's just a very simple, very basic newsletter page. A lot of folks forget to have a dedicated newsletter page uh, for your website so that you're always getting that call to action and you're always getting people to sign up. Uh, we'll go back to the editor. And we'll go to templates, single posts. And if we scroll down, uh, what we want to do is add in a, uh, we're going to do another HTML block. And we're going to put that right between, uh, what do we want to do? It's in the footer. So we want to put it expand the group and we want to put it right in between these two uh, columns here. So actually I'm going to put it, we'll put it right in here. So we'll go custom HTML. This might not work out too good. Bring this up. Yeah, we'll just put it right there and then we'll do the paste in the code. Now we could dress that up. We could also add in uh, we could create the same kind of column here. In fact, let's just go ahead and do that. Let's not let's not get super lazy here. So let's go group columns. Let's duplicate this. Expand this column, and we'll say newsletter. And then expand this column. Bring in our custom HTML right here, and then get rid of these paragraphs. Delete. Delete, preview that, uh, <clears throat> and then we'll save it. Now, that'll go ahead and update the entire footer to uh, the footer section across all blog posts on across our entire site, which will always have that convert kit email sign up or whatever, again, whatever emails uh, block or, or HTML you've put in there. Uh, very simple, very clean. I really like this theme. Makes me want to blog and focus on just having a blog and a newsletter uh, and just get rid of all of the other fluff of social media uh, and constant pushing to the algorithm. So that is Pulitzer. I just wanted to give you a brief overview of it because one, I think Anders themes are fantastic. 
Uh, I'd love to recognize the work that he does whenever he puts out something uh, fresh and inspiring, uh, but also to show you, hey, you know, lightweight block themes, very easy to customize. It's getting better. The more block theme support we have, the better. And uh, I just also thought it was an interesting little a uh, story of building and designing a theme in a weekend, submitting it to wordpress.org again. Uh, hopefully, once I see this theme uh, actually published in wordpress.org, I'll link it up at the bottom so that you have the actual active theme uh, install path and not the GitHub account. But really cool to check this stuff out. Uh, check it out, install it. If you're a blogger, want to start a, a, a blog and a newsletter based on WordPress, check out this theme. I'm sure he'll add a few more features in the future, but he likes to really make opinionated themes that do certain things. Not saying he doesn't go back and update them, but it's sort of like when you pick one of his themes, it's, it's for a purpose. Uh, and I really appreciate that about Anders work. So again, check it out. I'll link up the tweet and the GitHub below. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you want more WordPress stuff like this, the WP slash subscribe. That's my newsletter. It's not convert kit. It's MailChimp right now, but <laughs> check it out. Uh, the WP slash subscribe. Join the newsletter. We'll see you in the next video.